Here we're going to make a completely analog phonograph. This is just thin cardboard, uh, manila folder variety, and you'll cut a uh, cone, which is really a circle with a quarter removed, and you'll cut that out, and we're going to stick a sewing needle, probably a medium to small size sewing needle, through that cone so as to pick up the vibrations on a vinyl record. So here's a completed cone, and you can see there's a needle sticking. You basically go in and out of that cone, tape the cone together with some scotch tape, and uh, the needle should be at about a 45 degree angle. You'll notice here we've taped the cone to the end of the arm of an actual record player needle. Um, of course, our sewing needle needs to be lower, and um, you could increase the angle a little bit. Don't go as far up as 90 degrees or you might scratch or gouge the record. Um, we've used some Gorilla Tape here um, to keep the cone at the end of the arm something a little bit flexible, but stiff enough to keep the cone up. Then of course you can um, lay this down on the record. Now you don't have to tape it to the end of the arm, you can just hold the cone, but this is easier because it will guide itself. So you'll hear that there is um, mo there are mostly high frequencies coming through this cone. I mean, there's not enough energy to really push enough air to get you know bass tones out of this. But it basically demonstrates the principle that the the vibrations in the needle um, will project sound out of the uh, audio cone.